So in this kitchen back here is where macaroni and cheese was created by. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Traveling Guy. My name is Thomas, I am a regional flight attendant. For those who are new, please sure to subscribe. Tell my returning subscribers, I do appreciate the support. Uh, today I begin a four day trip, but I'm only working three of those four days because I have a 30 hour layover in Charlottesville, Virginia. Now, why couldn't my company give me 30 hours in Key West? 30 hours in Florida, 30 hours in New York, or even 30 hours in Houston. I would have taken that over 30 hours in Charlotte, Charlottesville. But, you know, it's the life of a regional flight attendant. A lot of times we don't get those long layovers and, you know, more desirable locations. But I do plan on doing something in Charlottesville, but I'm not going to say what just yet because I want to make sure I make it to Charlottesville because I don't want to jinx it at all. Um, pollen is full effect. Uh, when I came back from my last trip, there was pollen on the car, but it rained yesterday. So I knocked it all off and it's kind of low right now, but I'm pretty sure... By the time I come back on this trip, my car is going to be yellow. But um, other than that, today I have three legs. I go from Atlanta to Allentown, Allentown to Detroit, Detroit to Greenville, Spartanburg today. So other than that, I end today about 1045 ish, 11 o'clock. So I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to uh, Greenville, Spartanburg. Hello everybody, I made it here to Greenville finally. Um, it's going on 11.21. I have a 10.30 van, so give you some type of frame of reference of what time I have to, you know, be in a hotel and then get up and go for, to work. Today's flights, all of them were full, very uneventful. Um, I almost ran out of liquor on my first, very first flight going to Allentown because this is the first time I've actually had all 12 people in first class that wanted to, something to drink and wanted more on top of that. I didn't even have any more white wine left throughout the whole plane. Um, but other than that, uh, yesterday on my off day, I burnt three of my fingers. It's just a little first degree burn. I, I burn boxes and things like that, that I buy from the grocery, like food that I buy from the grocery store, I take them out the boxes so I can put them in my freezer to have more room. And I usually burn them in my backyard, sprayed some, uh, Lighter fluid on it, you know, wasn't paying any attention that I sprayed too much. When I went to light it, the, the flame, poof, and it got me on my three fingers here. And when I tell you, that was the most excruciating pain. Like I had to keep running water over my hand for the longest. And then I finally was able to go to uh, Family Dollar to get some um, aloe vera oil and some, some type of burn stuff. They didn't even have the name brand kind, but <laughs> listen. It is what it is, but it's one of those things like I had to endure that plane. Like part of my fingers are are still a little bit black from when they got burnt, but you know. But either way, I'm finna get ready and wind down to get ready and get up tomorrow. And tomorrow's I think a 12 hour duty day. But you know, it's one of those things you gotta do. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. Today is day two of four. Uh didn't sleep too well last night, kept tossing and turning. Um because I didn't end up going to sleep until about 1.30 last night. But got up, ate breakfast because they give us a good breakfast downstairs. Originally, I wasn't supposed to be in Greenville. What I did was, was went in open time and I swapped out the first day of my trip, first two and a half days of my trip to pick up my original trip going into Charlottesville last night. Because what I did was, my the trip wasn't worth too much credit because obviously I have 30 hours in Charlottesville, so I'm not working a complete day. So what I did was I just basically swapped out the first days with longer legs and more credit hours and it brought the trip credit hour up some. So like I said, I'm work I have 110 hours for this month. So that's the things 
that you have to do here sometimes in order to get more credit hours with your trip you just have to be surgical with it and just kind of do open time like i said before it's a tedious process but if you want the credit hours that's just something that you have to do but other than that i have four legs today i go from Greenville to LaGuardia, LaGuardia to Milwaukee, Milwaukee back to LaGuardia, and then to Charlottesville, and I'm there for 30 hours. So today is like a 12 and a half hour duty day. So we're going to see, but if I get delayed or something happens in LaGuardia, I'll keep you updated. So I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to Charlottesville. Hello, everybody. I made it here to Charlottesville. It is going on 12.02. And I'm here for 30 hours, so I don't leave here until Sunday morning. I have a six o'clock van. Um, our pilots got to go downtown in a long stay hotel, which we stay at our normal hotel that I've been at previously before, even in our last vlog. But you know, you it's not in our contract to stay at a long stay for those who asking why we don't go with the pilots downtown. Our union has to negotiate that. If they did, I'm not for sure, we don't know. Um, but you would think it's only right for us to be downtown as well on these longer overnights. But there's neither here nor there. It is what it is. Um, all my flights were very uneventful. Um, we was going to Milwaukee and there was a lady in the back with um, her children. So she booked all her seats together because she didn't want one of her younger children sitting next to a stranger, which I totally understand. I get you know, but she had this high anxiety because her son got upgraded. And she asked me, do you know why they upgrade him? I'm like, no, I have no idea why they would upgrade him. So she sat in the seat, wrong seat three times. And and I guess because her anxiety was so high for having her son being upgraded, her, her 11 year old sitting next to a stranger. So what I told her was, I can move the person that is sitting next to your daughter up to where your son is and he can come back and sit there and he was she was just didn't i guess her anxiety didn't hear me or comprehend what i was saying because she was just rambling on i'm not gonna have my 11 year old sitting next to a stranger y'all can do that and i'm like i'm trying to solve the issue that you have but you're just not comprehending what i'm saying to you um but uh, she and what I did was I ended up comping the gentleman a drink because he was going to buy a drink anyways. And I just ended up comping him because he was sitting right next to her when she was doing all this whole um, unnecessary stuff. So I just comped him for for the for the inconvenience, I should say, because he was willing to move. He was trying to tell her I will move. But she was still not trying to hear him either. But other than that, I'm going to holler at you all later. I'm going to get in this bed, check the room. Um, and check these beds to make sure there's nothing in them. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Hello, everybody. So today I'm going to Monticello to, discuss, to explore Thomas Jefferson's home. And for those who don't know, Thomas Jefferson was the third president of the United States. He was a minister to France. He also was the founder of the University of Virginia and the author of the Declaration of Independence. Now, Thomas Jefferson inherited this land from his father at the age of 26. He also inherited the slaves that he enslaved there through his father-in-law, which was over 600 something slaves. And Thomas Jefferson Home is a World UNESCO site. It is funded by the federal government. It's over 5,000 acres. And we're going to explore since I have 30 hours here in Charlottesville. Now the cost is $32 for a self-guided tour, meaning you're not on a tour guide, you just walk yourself around. I found a discount code online, just Google discount code and put it in and it worked and only end up paying $20. So that's how much it does cost. You do have to wear your face mask inside and outside um, due to the federal mask mandate because it is a part of the federal government. So let's get ready and go explore Monticello.
So I'm standing in a cabin that would have in housed either John Hemmings and his wife Priscilla or Sally Hemmings. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to come to the Jefferson House was to touch on their story, the Hemmings. Um, if you don't know, Sally Hemmings came to Jefferson Plantation, I believe when she was 14 years old. She was inherited by Jefferson through his father-in-law, um, who is also Martha Jefferson, which is Jefferson's wife, half sister. Um, Sally Hemmings you know, accompanied Jefferson to France when he was a minister of France. And at 16, she, wa um, Jeff she wanted to stay in France, but Jefferson wanted her to come back. So what she did, understanding her bargaining chips, because I'm assuming she thought she knew Jefferson took a liking to her. She bargained that she needed special privileges for her, her family and her children, which she didn't have any at the time. And that's the only way she would agree to come back to Monticello and Jefferson agreed because he did not want to leave without her because France didn't have slavery over there. Um, so at 16, she came back with Jefferson, eventually ending up having six children by Jefferson, which is a proven fact um, already through genealogy. And yeah, she knew her bargaining chips at an early age and she bargained to have basically in a sense, she was pretty much still a slave, but had special privileges, whatever that meant at that time. But yeah, that's the story of Sally Hemings and the Hemings family. So in this kitchen back here is where macaroni and cheese was created by John Flemings. John Flemings was enslaved by Jefferson, who he inherited from his father-in-law again. James Flemings was also the first American, not just African-American, American to train as a chef in France when he accompanied Jefferson to France to, when he was a minister of France. And once he came back to America, they stopped in Philadelphia and James wanted to stay in Philadelphia because he was free. So Jefferson made him a deal. He said, listen, I can't let my best cook go. So what you have to do is train someone else to cook just as good as you. So what he did was he trained his little brother to cook just like him so he can gain his freedom and live in Philadelphia. Now, I don't know if his little brother knew that, hey, I'm only training you so I can get my freedom or how that worked. But that is a story, a little bit of the story of James Flem Hemings. And I don't want to keep this long, so that's why I'm just trying to go through, paraphrase the story behind some of the Hemings and their stories behind it. everybody welcome back it is day four go home day um this three day has this well actually this four day has been very uneventful and pretty easy and the 30 hours actually gives you some rest in between the you know during your trip so it wasn't that bad i did enjoy the jefferson house yesterday um if you're ever in the charlottesville area you need something to do i would have you should go um they also are known for wine country up here if you follow fly with the guy he went um came up here did a video and he went to a wine tasting thing up here in Northern Virginia somewhere. But other than that, uh, I have three legs today. I go from uh, Charlottesville to Atlanta, sit for two and a half hours, dead head to Augusta and work the flight back. And I'm done before two o'clock. Today's uh, start, the kids spring break is, you know, they're on spring break, so I get to spend time with them. Also, remember when I told you that I burnt my hand? So as you can see, it pussed up yesterday starting yesterday and you can see my pinky is a little bit black reddish from the burns but it is what it is you know so you play with fire you get burned sometimes but other than that that's all i have for you today i'll see you guys once i get to atlanta to close out the video hello everybody so i made it here to atlanta very uneventful flights today i had one service flight from charlottesville to atlanta they headed to Augusta and Augusta is not a service flight because it's under 250 miles. So we don't do any service and I was working the back, only first class gets the service. Um, I'm off for a couple of days. The pollen is getting a little bit thicker now. Um, so I'm gonna go take my car to the car wash because it's not supposed to rain for a while here. And March is almost over. My next trip 
is the end of March. It just seemed like March has been so long, but I guess just because it's 31 days in March, it just always seemed like 31 day months are always longer than the rest. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching the entire video. I do appreciate it. Y'all are the real MVP. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Tell my return subscribers, like I said, I do appreciate you. And I truly do mean that. And as always, hug on the ones that you love. Tell the ones that you love that you love them. I'm out. Hey,